All right, so this is the symptom and what we're going to going to try to fix today. See, I got the key, put it into the door, and uh, it'll lock, but it won't unlock. See, it's stuck, stuck, stuck. Door handle still works pretty good. Um, you know, I did all the obvious things already. I lubed it up with some uh, WD-40 type stuff. I got some coil, put it in here, back here. So, <clears throat> so I'm just taking this door panel down first to see what's going on back there and see what's not working. So on these Volvo Gen 1s, you have to slide this piece over a little bit and you'll have a, 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 a bolt back there that you need like an Allen wrench to take off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And uh, then you take these off. And if you have anything heavy in here, go ahead and take this off. You know, all these little guys here. So uh, filming this today by myself, this will have to come down. And probably this uh, handle up here had to come off somehow, so the whole panel can slide off. So uh, let me do that first and uh, film it again. This is this is what it looks like when it's off. See, it's like spring loaded, so it goes in this order, and it's got these splines that slide right into there. And this is what the little bolt looks like that goes into uh, through the the window handle uh yeah i just spent about five minutes looking for it on these rocks this is what it looks like okay this is real slick right here but after messing around with it for a minute i found that uh this little hole and you have to take a pick and pull this right here and that'll give you access to that uh bolt right there to take that off goodness gracious and for the record it is a t10 t10 um, this is what you'll need to take it off one of these T ten. Okay, it's starting to rain a little bit, but um, yeah. So this part around it, the squishy part, it'll stay, and you lift the whole panel up over this. Um, then at that point, you disconnect your speakers, and um, these are for the side lights, and uh, it locks with this tab right here. So on the other side, you'll have to lift up to pull this out, and it's pretty dang tight. So uh, just want to show you that. Now I'm going to uh, take this panel off, uh, maybe with the door closed since it's raining. Okay, this is what it looks like with the uh, panel pop popped off. Those were uh, T20 um, Torx, I believe they're called, T20s to take all these off. I just took this inspection plate off right here to look behind here. Probably that's all I needed to do was take this off because I think I'm just going to, I don't know, need a new lock. I'm about to look and film after I look. To take the door handle out, uh, the assembly, see how it's got all these pieces? Well, this piece sits in here and you see this little tab. I mean, this piece right here goes into that tab so you got to lift this piece off and this will slide out like this and then um you know but probably first you want to disconnect these uh sorry for it being so dark you know but uh where is it at yeah like this piece here it hooks up to the door side then there's another one that hooks up to the lock and as you can see it's just like it's like a pop pop on pop off type piece so that'll free it from the door handle, which is actually it goes to that. And same thing for the for the locking one, uh, which is back here somewhere. Manual, yep. So this silver piece, that's what it looks like. And this silver piece goes just like this. You pull this tab and slide it off. This is what it looks like. Uh, the front and the back of the door cylinder. Here's the bolt that you undid from the side of the door. And the cylinder goes through here. So now I'm just trying to figure out how to pop these tabs off. And uh, take this cylinder out. Sorry, I get to doing things without filming sometimes. But anyways, with the key in, remember all this was attached. But this goes right inside of, the, in between this plastic piece in the collar right in here so I hit it with some needle nose pliers and pulled this out 
And once you pull this out, this will come right on out like it was nothing. Then once you do that, you can uh, pull this cylinder out. You'll see how it's got these shims in there. Um, yep. So how it's, the new one is supposed to be set the same way. I think I'm going to take my new one to Locksmith here in town. They charge 20 bucks. Okay, so I decided to do this myself. So you can actually pull, pull these out like this. And if you look real close on one of the edges, you're not gonna be able to see on the camera, but there's a number on this shim. So I'm going to take these out and, and place them in the order. Then I'm going to go get the new shims from the new bag and put them in this the same way. And you see these, these little springs and these little springs go into this top section. So I don't know if it's just one spring. It's probably one spring on each side. So once I get to doing the new one, uh, I'll find out. Okay, so I got the new uh, lock pins in the same orientation as these. And just so I can show you, you can probably see the number on these new ones. See, like this is a three. So, um, you know, this might be a one, one, a two, three, or four, four. So you just have to match them up with your old ones. And here are the springs. You see how uh, small these springs are. So, but I was just reading the literature, and yeah, one spring per hole. Then, um,. Each one of these locking pins get lubricated with this uh, little bottle that they supplied. So the, the springs don't, I guess, but just these do, according to the Volvo literature. So that's what I'm going to the tops, because it seems like that's where the most friction is when it goes into the top here. So I just lubricated the tops and, put, you know, smear it in around there, because there really is not much lube that was given in this bottle. All right, so once you get everything lined up the right way, um, you might have to push the tabs down just a little bit to get it to slide in. But once it's in, looky here, look at there. So, evidently maybe just one of these was just, um, getting stuck up or down. So maybe there's probably nothing wrong with any of this. It probably just needed to be taken apart and just lubed. So this whole video about changing the cylinder, probably it could just be, you could probably pop your other one out and disassemble it and put new lube on it but then again i don't know maybe you know it has something to do with the springs too letting it go back and forth so maybe if you could just get this i don't know if volvo sells just this the shim i mean the lock locking pins i think they're called in the springs but if so then maybe that's probably all it needs i don't know or you can just get the whole kit the whole kit's 50 bucks for the cylinder and the pieces you actually see there's two grooves cut into the bottom of this. So these grooves got to slide onto those um, down here. Right there. Now this also could probably get a key stuck too. I was watching. See these? Okay, so that's to unlock it and to lock it. See how the spring catches and adds tension? And when you unlock it, see that unlock, I think the, the spring is supposed to slide right over the top. But, you know... If one of those springs get, you know, out of place and it goes under the plastic piece or something like that, then it could jam it from going back the other way too. So normally in the door, this uh, part right here goes to the left. The spring goes around this built-in metal tab. That's how you could tell. Then that'll allow this to sit, sit down just enough for this uh, uh, this locking piece to go into those two holes and yep now now it's ready for reassembly now for reassembly we're just going to slide it right back in and work on getting this piece slid back in and popped back in between those uh pieces on the left and that tab in the middle yeah the, uh, the arms that go to the door handle and this one over here that's kind of hard to see that that'll, that'll attach to this uh the locking um, mechanism here's a look at that rod popped, popped back onto the uh, lock cylinder um, I had to end up using these pliers I mean yeah these pliers to pop it on it's a real tight snug fit 
And that, uh, that's probably also the reason if you, uh, you know, um, door won't unlock, but the key turns, it's probably maybe something's wrong with this, either disconnected or broke or something like that. And here's a quick look at what it looks like with this uh, brace that goes into these tabs. So what I do is take like a flathead and just kind of like push it to the left until it finally pops in. Then that's the door handle right here, connected to that. And this is popped on. I actually had to take the whole thing back out to put this uh, piece over here on that, that clips right there. It's kind of like the spacer that goes from the bolt on the outside. So when I took the whole thing out, I actually re-hooked this uh, locking piece right here where the key goes. I re-hooked that uh, from the outside before I put it in so I didn't have to stick pliers back in into this gap to snap it. So either way, but if you hook it up from the outside, you kind of got to walk it in real carefully because you don't want to bend or break the rod. Um, that's the disclaimer on doing that. All right, got the window rolled down. Just see what we got. Does it lock? Yes, it does. Does it unlock? Hello, hello. Time to put the door panel back on. All right, so that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, only extra piece of advice or tip that I would give is just uh, be mindful when you take the locking pins out. Uh, there is a first in a second so one row uh, starts with the first pin the next row starts with the second pin so uh, like what I did is I, 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 I put them in backwards so this row two is supposed to be in row one and row one was supposed to be in row two so if that happens you just take them out and, rever and reverse it you know put it on the other side but in the same order in the same sequence or you can look at the laser cut key and uh, it'll uh, either go up or down right at the at the first tip and that'll show you which which way you need to install the, the locking pins in so yep that's it uh, i just figured out to film it because i didn't see a video on youtube for it y'all take it easy